Hey there fellow face painter, I'm Lily and today we're going to talk about swirls and line work and we're going to study brushes, we're going to look at certain kinds of paint, brands of face paint, and I'm going to show you a few techniques that might help you through your journey in learning and perfecting swirls and line work. All right, so here we have my favorite brand of face paint. It's Fab. You can find this at sillyfarm.com or justpaint.com. You can also find some of these products. Here we have the Fab White, <clears throat> the Fab Black, and we're also going to look at Diamond Effects. Diamond Effects is super popular right now, especially because Wolf brand face paint is kind of MIA. So it's really hard to find, so we're gonna try the Diamond Effects, which is a soon to, well, I'm sure it is a favorite as of right now for line work and swirls. So my very favorite brush is the Lowell Cornell 7000 series. And I actually have it tattooed on my wrist. It is my very favorite brush. I've been using it for years. We're also gonna try the Art Factory round number three. <clears throat> I love the barrel of this, the color, and it's super similar to Lowell Cornell. It's uncanny how similar they are. We're gonna also use the Marcella Bustamante brush. This is a Ultra Point Four, I believe. Just paint. This is a round number three and a Mark Reed. We're gonna give that a shot. That's a round number four. Here we go. We're gonna start out with my very favorite, Old Trusty. And so what you wanna do is you're gonna dip your brush in the water. I bring the water to the cake itself. I don't splash my cakes. Um, they tend to get goopy and tacky and you don't want that. You want them to dry fairly quickly. So I bring the water to the cake using that little Cornell brush. I'm going to swirl and I'm going to twist and pull. Watch my fingers. Twist, pull. This is the key to getting crisp, clean line work. You want a very, very sharp tip. Here we're gonna barely touch down on the skin and we're gonna swirl. <clears throat> Once we get to the end, we're gonna push. Watch that tip, you're only using the very light tip at first. Very light touch. And at the end, you press down and you're gonna lift that tip of the bristle up again. That's how we get the thin to thick that everyone talks about. We're gonna go ahead and reapply. <clears throat> and we're gonna do it again. Now a key, I recommend doing, I don't know, maybe a hundred teardrops and swirls on your arm. <laughs> Whichever one is less dominant, of course. I like this swirl, Silly Heather does it often. And I find it, it's very, very easy to do. It's where you press down and then you release basically when you go around to the end of that swirl. Now we're gonna try the Fab, which is my favorite. <clears throat> it's a creamier based, um, but I, I just adore this paint. It doesn't stain. It is the only brand of face paint that I found that does not stain. This one, uh, because it's made by Superstar. Here we've got those beautiful teardrops, or you can even, you know, you, you don't really need a petal brush. You can use your own um, round brush to make those. So those teardrops, and those were done with Fab. Now we're gonna go to the Art Factory brush. This one's kind of old, so <laughs> we're going to dip into that diamond effects. Twist and pull. Twist and pull every single time. 
twist and pull. Eventually that will become a natural habit for you. So here we go, light touch. Watch those bristles when they push down. See how hard they're pushing down as I'm making that swirl or line work or teardrop. We're gonna go to fab. <clears throat> Twist and pull, twist and pull. You wanna load that entire bristle up to the ferrule, you wanna load it. Light touch, there you go. And then I come back on it with an even lighter touch to give that double, double swirl. This is gonna be your basic swirl. <clears throat> squirrel, not squirrel. <laughs> Here's a Marcella Bustamante number four. I don't really favor this one. I used her brushes a few times and I just couldn't, I just don't like them. I think they, um, they don't stay together, the bristles. They kind of like go everywhere and I, I don't know, I just didn't like it. But still, same thing, you're gonna keep that tip nice and clean. There you go, light touch. And then you're gonna push harder where you want it to be more thick. And that's how you do the teardrop. You press super, super light on the skin, and then you push all the way hard when you want that teardrop to end. And teardrops look really good in sets of threes, fives, sevens even. And we'll get into that here in a second. Again, nice sharp tip. And honestly, I could do this all day long. Sometimes I will just sit there and just do line work on my arm. And you can do this in a sketchbook. You don't have to do it on skin. Um, I have some images here soon where it's just on in a sketchbook. It's face paint in a sketchbook. So here we go with the Mark Reed. These are super high quality brushes. You can tell when you get them. As you use them, they're long lasting. It's an acrylic handle, I believe. Um, so they're not gonna crack like all the other brushes. These are meant for the long haul. I love Mark Reed brushes for body painting as well. Same thing, light on the start. And you push harder when you want that. Variance. Teardrop, teardrop, teardrop. Look how beautiful and round those are. Gorgeous. The Marcellas, they were just everywhere. The bristles were everywhere. And they didn't leave that clean drop. Just paint. <clears throat> this is a new brush, as was the Mark Reed. The Just Paint brush, I really love the handle. It's very glossy and it looks like it, it would be, um, it could take a hit from all the water that we use. Same thing, twist, pull, twist, pull. And you wanna form that little puddle in there. Sharp tip, here we go again. The Just Paint bristles, I think were a little too soft. Um, and so they kind of, it was, you had to learn to control and manage that brush a little bit more, I think, um, to get those perfect, perfect lines and teardrops. It just seemed a little harder to use, but I do love the barrel. Very well made. Looks like it would be great for the long haul. We're gonna go back to old trusty. Again, this is a Laurel Cornell 7000 series. And here are a few photos <clears throat> just to show you with time how great your work can be. Here are a few of my on the jobs, a few body paintings I've done. 
and a lot of it is swirls, teardrops. Once you get the hang of it, once you practice 100 teardrops a day or 100 swirls a day, and you find something clicks and you finally get it, oh my gosh, the world is your oyster. You can make any little character or use a stencil on a cheek and put in those swirls top and bottom and parents will ooh and ah over those swirls and teardrops. They really think it's, it's very impressive and parents really love that it's high quality. I mean, you can just see the face painting, how high quality it is. So here we go, we're gonna do a festival design here. Twist and pull, same thing. And here for the eye designs, <clears throat> I really feel that it's a, a three-step thing. Here's one point, the starting point. Always start here. And I did the light touch, pressed when I wanted the thick part, and then came back in. The, you've got to work on that super, super light touch at the beginning so you can get that very, very thin line at the base, the beginning of the swirl or teardrop. We're going to twist and pull again, twist and pull again. It really is a repeat type situation. Here I'm going to press hard. When I come down and end it, I'm going to lift that brush. Now this is the reverse teardrop, of course. It is easier to do this um, reverse teardrop on this laminate. So on flesh, you can go either way and you can go just as fast, but the laminate's a little slippery. Here we go, You're, we're going under. You can always fix that base if it's not sharp like I just did. You can always go over it and when you're ending it, you lift that brush up to get that crisp tip. One, two, three, teardrops. And we're gonna fill in this empty space here. And it's basically that crown teardrop, but over on the side. And I find that it looks really pretty. This is probably the most fast and most requested face painting, actually. For moms, teenagers, I usually put it on myself and oh my gosh, they just say, I want what's on your face. So this is wonderful. And you can add your dots or stars if you like at this point and glitter and you're done. See how fast that was. So here we're gonna do that crown teardrop piece. I wanted you to see it from the side what the bristles are doing. That's the reverse teardrop. You see how we have those crisp, clean ends and those round tops? That's what you want. Twist and pull, twist and pull. It really is repetition. We're gonna do it again. And the ones I'm doing here are short. Uh, I'm sorry, these are long. But the ones I were, was doing are pretty short. You can just elongate everything that I'm doing in case you're doing a body painting or working on a bigger surface, just elongate that teardrop, elongate the, elongate the swirl. This is also a great way to get perfect dots. You can make that uh, little puddle in the center of your, or make, just start a puddle in your cake. Here's that star. And that's just the reverse teardrop. Here are perfect dots again. And you're making that pool that little puddle in your cake and you load the brush to where it's not dripping but it is entirely full it's got a little more moisture than you would like that will give you the perfect dot here we're going backwards 
these are the, <clears throat> I'm not sure what name these have actually, but um, that particular shape, but we use it a lot on butterflies and eye designs. It's that one teardrop and then we do sort of like a tribal thing going on. So here I'm just still going. And that's your best bet. Just practice, 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 practice. And make sure your teardrops and your swirls are going in the same direction. You, When you're first learning, you want them to go in the same or similar direction. Once you get far more skilled, then you can experiment with going different directions because your eye will already be trained to what looks attractive. Here we go, now we're going backwards. Dropping down, push. Light, drop down, push. And do it again, drop down, push. Watch those bristles. And we're doing some swirls and curls and teardrops. I'm gonna do some dots. And I'm just grabbing from that little puddle and going to the dots. <clears throat> You see how they're all going in the same direction, but smaller? It just looks so much better that way. <clears throat> so just doodle away, keep going, don't give up. That is the key here, don't give up, don't avoid them. Because I know at first when something's difficult, we wanna avoid it, don't avoid it. Keep practicing, keep doodling. And believe me, you will get it. Once you do, oh my goodness. You're going to wonder how you lived without them. Thanks for watching, you guys.